Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is the first video that we're doing from the Be Better Golf School at the Mike Bender Golf Academy. Um, hopefully we do it here again. If you guys are interested, uh, send an email to contactbebettergolf at gmail.com. Today, Tony, we're talking about um, the sequence. Okay. And a lot of people, when they hear, uh, um, tell us first, like I know you talk about the sequence feeling as if it's arms, body, club. Give me just like a little quick elevator pitch on why the arms should go first in the golf swing. Well, what we're taking a look at, Brandon, is something we'll never see in video. And that's the difficult thing with this because really we're talking about acceleration rates and internal motor control to create proper alignment. So I use the analogy of the two planes banking. The relative speed of this outside plane has to be faster and accelerating much faster than the inside plane. So when we apply that to the golf swing, we gotta take a look once we get up to the top. If this inside takes off, arms in the club can never catch up. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a kind of an intent, a, mo a trigger to get speeding up the arms so they stay in sync with the movement of the body. Mm -hmm. So that's real simple is how we start this downswing really determines how well we hit the ball. And so that's the reason why I'll tell them people feel the arms going, whatever that feels like to you, get those arms going, and then the body and club through impact. Because the body through impact is the drive portion of the swing. Yeah, and this message has been on Be Better Golf for about uh, a year and two months or so since we first met up in Mississippi. So I've seen a lot of you guys through Instagram, uh, BB underscore golf show have sent me messages with your swings and I've uh, just seeing uh, people out in, in, in public and, and they'll sometimes they'll be thinking, I've noticed Tony, like they'll be thinking that they're going arms first yeah. and the arms are doing nothing. No. Because they think like, oh, okay, well, they just heard that pitch that you gave of why. And they're like, because everybody, you know, they're like, well, I'll try it. And then, yeah. and then they'll try it and they'll be like, that's terrible. Right. And so this is the swing that I see uh, when, when people think that they're doing it, but they're not doing it. So they go to the top and they think, arms first. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah. So what, what are they doing wrong there? Well... It's, it's not separating the arms from, we'll say, the torso. And yeah. they, they, a lot of times they reference their shoulder joints as part of their arms. So they're thinking, okay, if I get up to the top here and I'm, I'm moving the shoulder joint here. That's that, my arms. That's my arms. They think of the arms as all this. Exactly. Okay. And a lot of times what I see with golfers is because they've been taught to keep this left arm so straight or their lead arm straight, is now that locks in. Mm -hmm. So once I get, the only way to move my arm is to do what? Is to rotate. Okay, so there's a difference between going arms first and going shoulders first and not moving the arms at all, which is what I just did. There. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So if you take a look at the arm, and I don't want to get too, too into the anatomy of it, Okay. but we want to take a look at the pecs, lats, serratus anterior, the deltoids. This is my arm segment. And so you can see I can separate my arms from my torso. Yeah, so if there's a line here on your shoulders, you can move that, and you can move that extremely hard without even moving this. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, if, you know, that's what I, one of the drills I'll have people do is if they're having trouble with this, something real simple is, is just putting their, their lead hand on their chest, on their sternum, and being aware of that. So, this so you'll way be they, like, hey, make a whoosh here, get some real speed going, just Exactly. This. That's an arm swing right there. I go lock things up, you know, and again, if you're taught to go with your lead arm, there's no speed. Now, yeah, you can get some speed, but I have to do it with my hands and my wrists. And when I do this, now I bring a lot of inconsistency. Yeah, because when we were in Las Vegas, you said something that I, that I, that I still remember. We, we did a, another school out in Las Vegas, and you said, well, one of the students, he said, hey, I'm moving my arm and it wasn't working. Right. And and you you said, no, your arms, your arms, being moved, it's not moving. R remind me of what that was. So, and again, what it is is a lot of people because we have more of our receptors, we're, we're more aware of where our hands are. Now the tour players are phenomenal at this, and that's really what practice is all about: is to to develop that proprioception. So they're thinking, okay, I can feel the club. And it's kind of like almost like a check swing in baseball. I can move, yeah, my arms are being moved by my shoulders, but the problem with that is when we take a look at the, how the, the upper torso rotates, that alignment 
versus where the ball is, they're not on the same line. And are not going to get into planes, but they're not, it's not the same alignment. So we have to do something to get the club down. So if we rely on our upper torso to rotate, to think yep. moving our arms, we're, we're going to top the ball. Top it, chunk it, miss it. It's just going to be a disaster. Yeah, because the plane that we put the club on is about like that. Yep. And then we make a backswing. Even like Mo Norman and Bryson DeChambeau, the, the, everyone comes above it a little bit. Oh yeah, the, the golf swing is but is most not normal golf swing. There's so so between here and there, at some point you're gonna have to do something to get back down. If you just go straight this way, it's over the top. Towards the ball, it's over the top, and that's that's the heel. And that's where a lot of golfers feel like, well, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm taking my hands and throwing them at the ball, you know. And it's yeah. like, well, no, we really don't want to do that, you know. Yeah. Because um, it just creates all sorts of problems from there. You want to take so if we don't want to do that, Tony, take the hands and throw them at the ball so much. Where do we want to? to direct this arms first move that you're talking about. So we have our shoulders and arms separated now. They're, it's more going the arms without the shoulders feeling so much. Correct, that's a feeling. But where do we want to direct the hands? So to really, because it's a ballistic motion, which we're talking 250 milliseconds from the top of the swing to impact. Yeah. We got to basically create an idea of what type of shot we want to hit. And so that really determines where that path of those hands are. So I could actually create one backswing and create a draw because why? All I have to do is the faster my arms come down and through the ball, the more of an inside path I can create. Yeah. So it's really just one of those things that because everyone may be a little bit different position based on range of motion, we have to find where that is. But it's gonna be back here, back at this functional swing plane. And that's the reason why I really kind of going back I like to get a lot of people to feel this, so this way here through impact. So that's what we're trying to just match back up. Okay. Is to get back to that pre-impact position. Okay, I don't like to do a video without hitting a shot, because when I watch YouTube videos, that's too boring. So, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try to hit a draw here, Tony. Like Where's our target? About. What's our target? So you see the red stick out there at yep. the tallest pine tree? Got it. So there. And so we got alignment a little bit right of it. That's good. How's that? That's good. Okay. Yeah, it's pl there's plenty. Oh, that's coming back. Yeah. Oh, that's done on it. All right, good. Nice shot. Good swing. All right, so you guys uh, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out. Go over to Inside the Golf Lab at reactionarygolf.com. That's where you can see more detailed information, not only on how to do this, but also like the reasons why. It's really an evidence-based system. So it's like, okay, I do this, and here's the studies and other things, reasons why for that. And Tony has his own YouTube channel. YouTube, uh, just search Tony Lutzak Golf. That's it, man. Good swing. All right, see ya.